determined to bet the flop is a bluff, with the intention of following through with more barrels on later streets. Yet sometimes the board falls in such a way that you have to pull out of those bluffs. And nothing makes a bluffer second guess like the board pairing. But are there situations where the board pairs and you should keep firing? Let's break it down. First, we watch Kevin Eister get the best of Zoe Kareem when he raises the button with 6-5 offsuit and makes a continuation bet on a flop of four queen jack. Zoe makes the call in the big blind with his gut shot and overcard. The turn is the jack of diamonds, and when Zoe checks, Kevin follows through with a half pot bet that gets Zoe to fold. Pretty sure I had the best hand, so. Kevin wins. Then we watch Ben Tarzia raise the button with 10-9 and get a call from Kevin Eister in the big blind with ace nine. Kevin doesn't hit the flop and checks, but casually calls a bet from Ben on the jack deuce three flop. The turn brings the deuce of diamonds, and when Kevin checks, Ben follows through with a second bet that's 30% pot. Kevin makes the call, again with just ace high. When the river comes a five, both players check, and Kevin wins with ace high. Now, here's the difference between those two bluffs. In the first hand, Kevin bets on a turn that he can more plausibly represent as he would likely raise the button with most hands containing a jack. He knows much of Zoe's range contains draws, which all decreased in value with the board pairing. Now, in the hand where Ben bets the turn with his 10 high against Kevin, he does it on a deuce, which is hard to represent since most hands containing a deuce fold pre-flop. Beyond the unlikely deuce, the uncoordinated flop texture makes it far more likely that Kevin is calling with showdown value instead of a draw. So it's probable that Kevin will continue calling with that showdown value when the turn doesn't change the texture of the board. Particularly with the price Ben gave Kevin with his small bet, he was never going to get a fold from ace high, while a bet of double that size might have worked. So when you bluff the flop and the turn pairs the board, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to attempt the old pull-out method but it does mean you should reconsider whether that card really changes the texture and affects your opponent's hand. And in the event a deuce pairs a deuce, it's probably a check. I don't even have to see the rest of the hand to know that. <laughs>